Yes, come in. Hi. Uh -uh. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Platon leader. How are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. I I just got you there. Hmm. Mm. So because I yelled you for ignoring me on my birthday, mm -hmm. that is why you bought all of this for me. Oh, come on, Mary. You know I wasn't around on your birthday, so now I'm here. I just decided to get to there. Thank you so much, Chanel. It's very lovely and thoughtful mm -hmm. of you. Thank you. Touchy. My birthday is next week and you have to be around me. Definitely. You have to make up. Mm, that's an order. Uh, 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 <laughs> of course, you have to make up. No, uh, come on. You see, um, God willing, you know, it shall be celebrated. Okay. Uh, sit down now. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm in a haste actually. I got a rush. Okay. I have to submit my report to my area. <laughs> Compassion! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> hey, but never snatch your neck. I see a triple. Hey! Nice card. Cheese! What is it? Oh, hey. the card. At the rate you and this guy is going. <laughs> Zod, I don't understand. Well, don't you understand? He has been my friend since ages. We're in the same faculty, there's nothing to all this. Why are you screaming? <laughs> Just a friend, and he bought a two string. <laughs> Hello, girlfriend. It's not every relationship that must end in sex. Come on, think. He has feelings for you. Oh, you're the only one seeing it. Abby, you, you've you told his spokesman, Abby. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Let me find my taxi. Hello, Abby. I was with the agents today over the new apartment. I don't know why they are wasting time. They've not even found one yet. Why are you bothering yourself about this apartment issue? My uncle is hardly at home. Um, he's not complaining. So, what did she say when you gave her the gift? Ah, you need to see what this babe did. She hugged me. She kissed me. Oh my God, she, she refused to let me go. Patrick, I told you, there's no need for you to hide your feelings from her. Not she anymore. even wept on my shoulder. Oh my God. The girl wept. Really? Uh, she said she was going to redo her birthday since I was not around really? the first time. Yes. Then that girl is down for you. Ah, before God. She's been dying for me. See? Hey, oh boy. <laughs> Man, no need to waste time. Oh. See? Man. <laughs> hey, Pato. Man, that's serious. Let's get down and, I mean, one of these days you bring her over and let me see her. She's the one begging me to come here and spend weekend with us. But you know it's not it now since we're over yeah, here. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I'm the one saying no. Patrick. Oh, come on. The real man. Patrick. Oh, no, no, hey, <laughs> man, let's go and eat. No. Let's go and eat. No, man. Hey, oh. what are you talking man, about? Don't worry, man.
And I'm under rules. I know. Look, 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 look. I don't like people badging in on my office because I have an explanation to make to my superiors hey, if they catch I me here. I said I was sorry. I hardly see you, and you know, my being a banker, I hardly have the time to see you except during the weekend. So, how come you're here now? Why are you questioning me like this? Anyway, I was sent on an assignment to our regional office. So I decided to branch by and say hello to you. That's not a crime, is it? You know I'm home most weekend. Why? Well, I travel during weekends to see my folks. Um, well, Lucy, like you can see, I, I am really very busy and maybe I'll see you later. Yeah, that's what you always say, but I never get to see you. You know, I am a copper and I must have to walk under the rules or else they won't retain me after the service. Okay. I said I was sorry, okay? Look, I'm not going to badge in on you like this next time again. I'll call you before I come, all right? Besides, sweetheart, you know, I'll never do anything to jeopardize your future. You know that. I'm sorry, please. Anyway, I got something for you. I hope you like it. Thanks. I would, um... I'll call you that I am in there. Okay. Aren't you going to see me? Um, well, you know, you see I'm very busy, like I told you. Um, next time, or better still, I'll come to your office and we'll go home together. Serious? <laughs> you promise? With all my heart. Okay. I'll let you be now. Have a nice day. Paul! Oh. Have a nice all day. All right, bye. Bye. You too. You too. bye. Oh, wouldn't this girl leave me alone? Why is this thing bothering my life, man? Come on, Patrick. You know this girl, she always makes our special time for you. She loves you. Look, I'm in love with someone else. Look, I want to settle down with Mary. She is in my life. And look, 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 we're going to get married soon. For all this. Mary? So all this, yes. Mary that has never visited us in the house. Mary who has never, I mean, drove by in this office. She has never even bought you a gift. Does it really matter? What matters is understanding between two people. Look, 
Mary and I will soon get married. We're just waiting for time. Um, it's okay. Uh, can I see the gift that she brought? <laughs> Open it. This is expensive. Mm, like how much will I get if I decide to sell that one? Are you out of your mind? You want to sell the gift that someone who loves you gave to you? I beg, I beg, Paul. Look, what is the worth of this watch? That's what I asked you. Mm. About 13,000? Give me 10 and take it. Patrick, this is not fair. This is not fair. You can't do this. Look, I have to get Mary something for the weekend. Give me 10 and take this. Service, eh? I just traveled out to Germany. I came back last year to establish one small business here. Man, you're a big boy. Yeah. I leave all those things. Ah, no, no, leave no, all those things. Boy, from the one now. <laughs> Jesus How you Christ. Doing that? I do. Are you? You must be married now. Uh, no, no, no. I'm still searching. Not <laughs> only. Well, that means one of us. <laughs> I think it's a good thing I saw you. Look, I'm putting a get together in my house tomorrow, and I want you to come, please. Fine. You no. Know? Just give me your card, man. I will. Look, I will. Leave the rest for me. I will. I'll I will. Nice debate. Exactly what I want. Just to let do. me have your card. Okay. Yeah? Enough bed, Zoom. Enough bed. <laughs> so I'll give you my card That's, so that, uh, okay. so that, uh, you, look, man, you have to come to my office tomorrow. No, 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 the rest are short. Hey. You have to come to my office, Zoom. Danny, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> so you've been in this town. Hi. Eh? Well, we'll, we'll see, Shaq. Just let me just stand up, man. Okay, okay. I'm not for this, man. I'll go just. Ah! Okay. Man, we'll go see a bed. Please, try Danny. to come to my office tomorrow. Not for you. <laughs> but, oh. This is your company, Even my boyfriend have not been disturbed. Well, you know, you and I happen to be the only people that town um, were in our school, so from time to time, once in a while, I feel like making it feel at home. So, how was our uh, community development? Boring. <laughs> Very boring. Um, uh, Mary, you said something about your boyfriend. Who is he and where is he? Don't you remember the guy I normally work with in school? You mean Celeste? Oh, no. Uh, although we broke up after we graduated and I haven't heard from him since then. And now my parents are organizing one man for me to marry. God forbid. Of course I did not agree. I better. Good. Well, there's this party a friend of mine is organizing. And uh, I'd like you to be there. You know me, I don't like attending parties. No, Mary, this one is going to be interesting. Interesting? And um, actually, he was a student of ours, but a friend of mine. Yes, he went in our school. Well, graduated quite, uh, you know, before us. <laughs> um, he's organizing it, and I'm one of the organizers. Okay, fine. When, he, when is the party holding? This weekend. This weekend? Yes, I'll come around to pick you. I hope it's a decent one. Oh, of course. Trust me. Decent one. 
trust me you know uh let me I, go on uh, let me okay. go along unprepared you know things so. oh my thanks uh. okay yeah. all right thanks for the gift uh. Sunshine on a cloudy day. Listen, you have to help me out. I don't know what to do from here. What are you talking about? It's, it's Mary. She almost got married, and I didn't even know. And so? What do you mean, and so? This is a lady I'm in love with. This is my life and my love story. And the parents are pressurizing her to get married. Oh, listen, Mary. Patrick. See, you know the way to this game. I mean, call her, talk to her, tell her something really sweet. Propose to her and probably engage her. Man, I can't do that now. It's very risky. Man, I have nothing. And even when I finish seven, I don't even know whether and if I'll get a job. This is Nigeria. Besides, Mary doesn't strike me as a lady that wants a man that is not settled yet. Then switch over to Lucy. I don't, I don't have your loving mind. I don't have any feelings for her. Did I hear you say that? Yes. But you went for her. You slept with her. And you do take money from her. Huh? Look, she's working and that was just a fling. Uh, look, mom, advise me before Mary slips out of my hands. Who is it? Who is that? Lucy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry there's no more party. But, Daniel, you told me that. Yes, I know, I know, I'm very sorry. See, my other sister was supposed to be coming back from London, in whose honor I was throwing the party. Didn't show up again, she postponed till December. Oh my God, and we're already here. Well, you were supposed to come yesterday or the day before for me to tell you, but you didn't show up. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Dan, you see, I'm sorry, I went to the area of my primary assignment. Oh, I see. Well, well, no problem. Nothing spoiled. Uh, no matter, you know. Everything is cool. I'll take you guys out to the most exotic and uh, beautiful restaurant in town to make up for this disappointment, you know. Oh, that would be great. I hope you don't mind. We'll go in my car, eh?
by Mary, right? Yes. Oh. You're the guy that took us out the other time, right? Yes. Daniel. Yes, you're correct. How are you? Fine. And how's your boyfriend? Excuse me? I mean your boyfriend, Patrick. <laughs> um, he's fine, but Patrick is not my boyfriend. We're very good friends. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Anyway, can I drop you somewhere? Um, actually, um, I'm on my way home. Okay, to the house we go then. <laughs> Come in. Thank you for bringing me home. My pleasure so much. All right. So. Okay, Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary. Mary. Yeah. Will you be free tomorrow? Why do you ask? Um. I, I would like to take you to dinner. I don't think so because I'll be busy tomorrow. Look, I, I don't mind how short the time is, but I really would like to sit with you at dinner. I don't think it's possible. I am really really. Can I come and see you tomorrow then? I am not promising to be around tomorrow. Okay. No matter the, what the case is. I'll see you around. That's right. Ah, you remember me. That's good. Um, uh, Jane, I, I wonder if you have a few minutes to spare. I'd like to talk to you. I hope there's no problem. No, no, there's no problem at all. It's about your friend Mary. Mary? What about her? Um, Jane, this is very, very important to me. I, I, I like your friend very much. I'd like to marry her, for real. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person here. Especially when you've not even talked it over with her. Yes, but Mary won't give me the time of day. So I, I need you to help me convince her. At least to sit down with me and talk it out. You know, I mean, she wouldn't go out on a date with me. If you ask me, marriage. Marriage is the easiest thing men use in getting under women's own. So easy. Yeah, I know. I know the way you feel, but, but it's not true. And I'm, I'm sure Mary's thinking that way too. But I, I, I'll prove it wrong. I'll prove it to you that I'm serious. I need you on my side, you know, to be able to convince me. I, you see, what I want with your friend is to marry her and raise a family. Wait, I'm serious. Come in, the door is open. Hold oh, that's all. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Hi. Uh, uh, thank you. 
I got you something. I, I remember you said you'll be very, very busy, so and uh, you won't have the time to go out to eat. So I just thought I should bring you something from the fast food joint I normally take my lunch. Well, that is... I'm sure you like it. Thank you so much. But really, you shouldn't have gone through all the trouble. No, 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 it's my pleasure. I, I, I really wanted to get it for you. It's no problem at all. Okay. Thanks. Well, I really, I really have to be going now. Yeah, I ought oh. to be going. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, well, I want to ask you. Will you please find the time to go out on a lunch date with me? I'm sorry, don't be offended, but I don't think I'll have the time. I'm still very busy. Oh, see, I don't, I, don't, I don't care if it's only five minutes you spend with me. I really would love to sit down with you and talk with you, you know? Okay, you know. right, let's do it this way. Give me a call tomorrow. If I'm free, I'll let you know so we can meet. Yeah, but I don't have your number. Oh, let me give it to you. Yeah. Wait for me. Two, five, seven, six. something to tell you. Mm -hmm. It's about Danny. I think he's serious. So you think I should go? Yeah. Why don't go out on a date with me tomorrow? You think I should go there? Staring at you, Mary. Ever since that day you came to my house with Patrick, I've never stopped staring at you. Oh, really? Um, let me guess. What is going to be in your next move now? I think you'll take me to your house and then you'll show me your bed. <laughs> Mary, I'm not that naughty. Come on, this is a lie that every man should avoid. We women will know the street. Marry me, Mary. Beg, beg your pardon? I want you to be my wife. <laughs> well, I think that's a nice joke. Mary, Mary. Ever since I set my eyes on you, I've known that I, have not, I wasn't looking at an ordinary woman. I was looking at my wife. Woman of my woman. Flesh of my flesh. I needed no second place. <laughs> you asked me for a dinner date and now... Mary, well, I thought I, I played the field. I thought I'd seen them all. I thought I'd had the most beautiful until I met you. And since I saw you, I knew that I was not just looking at anybody. When I look at you, I see only one thing. My wife. Me. I want you to be my wife. Marry me. Please, marry me.
Hey, come on, Patrick. Why are you behaving like a woman? Look, Daniel is my friend. How could he do this to me? Well, you never should have known that I love me and I really wanted to marry her. Well, Patrick, you never told him. Should have asked. Well, he said he did ask that, and she said that you and her were just good friends with no strings attached. I love Mary. I've always loved her. I've always wanted to marry her. I was just waiting for the service to be over before I proposed to her and marry her. And now I have to watch my own very good friend take her from me for life. And this stupid of me as well. I understand, Patrick. See? The truth is, maybe you and her were not meant to be husband and wife. Um, Mary. I really do not know where to start. I tried to explain to you earlier, but you sounded so heartbroken and I was very surprised. What drove you to him, Mary? His car, his house, or what? You and I have always been a very good friend. And you've always given me good advice. But it never crossed my mind that you were in love with me. You never told me. Mary. I've always wanted. I was just waiting for the right moment. And why didn't you tell me? But I guess now it's too late because I've already accepted Daniel's ring. But you and I can always be very good friends. Okay? You and I. Say, Patrick, there's a time for you to be the real man I've always known you to be. Remember, you still have Lucy. I don't want Lucy. And you can still get married to her. And I don't want Lucy. All I want is Mary. All I love is Mary. All I want to have my kids with is Mary. Oh, I want Mary. I want Mary. I want Mary. Mary. Makes my day. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are the one I think of every day. Oh, my heart belongs to you. My life is so right to you. My heart will be with you. Wherever I am, you are the one.
since you're okay, I've got lunch prepared. Why don't you come to the dining and eat? Besides, don't you think you're too old to be having nightmares in broad daylight? Eh? Yeah? Right, come. Let me come out with you. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for coming to celebrate with my wife and I on this very special day. I want to ask a question. What is happiness and how do you define happiness? Is it when you look at your bank account? Or when you look at the achievements you have been able to make in this world? Well, those are ephemeral things. Those are meaningless things when you pass away. You know, those things you leave behind when you die. For me, happiness is when I look at my wife, when I look into her eyes and I see her smile. For me, that is happiness. Mary, I love you. Heaven knows that I love you. I love you now, and I will always love you. Thank you for being my wife. You are the one that makes my day. Oh, yeah. You are the one I think of every day. My heart belongs to you. My life is surrender to you. My heart will be with you. Wherever you go, my love will be yours. Whenever you leave me, I will always be there for you. Whenever you leave me, because I love you. Yes, you. Me. But you can always find me where you left me. Can I come and find you now? Naughty, naughty. You should be working. Not when I'm holding your picture in my arms, staring at you and you smiling at me. 
What are you wearing? What is that? I want to know what you're wearing so I can imagine you. I am not wearing anything. Wow! Thank God! I am done for the day and, and uh, I'm on my way home right now. Uh -uh. You're not going to find me at home. Not if I hurry enough. But I just be prepared to take me to the southern den. Oh, honey. I am prepared to take you to the most beautiful kingdom in the world. Well, I'm already there since the first day you took me into your heart. I love you, darling. I love you too. My heart belongs to you. My life was surrendered to you. My heart will be with you. Wherever you go, my love will be yours. Whenever you need, I will always be there for you. Whenever you need me, because I love you. Day. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, since um, my, my dear Patrick has decided to forget what wedding anniversary is called, we decided to put it together to remind him. <laughs> don't mind him. How can he remember when the word calendar does not even exist in Oh, no, no, dictionary. don't blame me. Uh -huh. Was it not you that was um, uh, uh, at Potaco last year doing uh -huh. your job? Mm. So was it in Potaco this year? Two years back and the previous Patrick, one. You just huh? admit it. You go. You go Please first. tell him. Let's, let's blame it on time and tight schedules with a lot of deadlines uh, to make. You see you. Uh, meanwhile, that food you guys served on your yeah. anniversary was so nice. Who cooked it? Maybe you cooked that? Yes, I did. And thanks for noticing. This man here didn't even notice. Oh, that makes both of us. Well, 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 you blame me. But how could I have noticed when, when I was busy watching her waist? <laughs> As if you're the only one. <laughs> Hey, we were busy, you know, watching the waste of oh, our wine. wine. Yes, you know, <laughs> the, 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 you know, the wine. Like, you know, kind of, and you know, that kind of reminds me of it, of it, of it. Mary, what about the pictures we took that day? Are they out yet? The photographer will bring them this week. 
Oh, precisely on Monday, I'll send it across. Oh, good, yes, good, good. Because some. I'm interested in watching some snapshots of the pictures. You know, especially then when Mary was there. Yeah. And, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. where my wife was. Hey. You know, the rest of the wives, you know. Oh, you guys are just oh, so good. So. You know. Yeah. So you want more of those pictures so that you can watch more waste. And then on your own, too, you know. You know, oh, you know, you know the waist. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Mary, can you imagine Mary is getting younger every year? Can you imagine how she looks after five years of that? Oh, please. Don't you think you've embarrassed him enough? Ah, uh, what are you talking about? Huh? Watching her waist while she's dancing. Commending her cooking, which I know and everyone else knows is trash. <sighs> oh, let me finish. Let me finish. What you want her pictures for anyway? What? Mary, that's not the issue. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. Go right ahead. Call me her name too. Go, call me her name. Look, this girl is a wife to my best friend. Our family friend. And an old schoolmate, okay? I'm fine. Leave it at that. Just leave it there. What's biting you, sir? What's all this speaking about? You want to know what's biting you? Yeah. You want to know what's biting me? Oh. Fine. How many times in the last five years have you commented my cooking, nor watched my waist when I walk? And in case you're wondering why you're married and every year young, put into consideration that I've given you two lovely children, where she has none. Of course, I don't deserve commendation for that, do I? Which is this? This is God. Mary, how is this wondering if anybody's at home? Of course you know you will find me at home. I'm receiving work next month. Next month? And then you're sleeping? No, he'll be back in the next two hours. Did you check him out of the office? No, but since he'll be there for the next two hours, I guess, on my way home, I'll just check on him. No, I don't think that is necessary. Just sit down and wait for him. Let me get you a drink. Well, I just remembered way back in school how we used to be together and how I honestly thought we would end up as husband and wife. Everybody knew us then. Yes, as two good friends. But you didn't let your feelings known to me. Not until Daniel slipped the ring into my fingers and ended up being a best man. Well, life is like that at times. I'm happy for you, darling. Daniel really loves you. Just the way I did. I think he loves me much more than that. He loves me a whole lot. Only that. Only that what? What's the problem? I need mean, Daniel loves me so much, but I have not reciprocated the love I give him a child. Five years of marriage, and I have nothing to show for it. Not even a baby. Why what else? Does he complain? He won't complain to my hearing, but I know deep inside of him 
If you is a, he's a man. And what have you brought done about this? I've gone through countless tests. Medication, oral, traditional, physiological, whatever, just name it. And they keep saying the same thing. They keep saying I'm okay and I'm able to have the child. What about Daniel? Any test? You should tell me he's your friend. He's bragging about pregnant in the world. Well, I remember way back, there was this lady he got pregnant, but they aborted it. Why can't I just have a baby? Why, I, why can't I just get pregnant? I know his people in the village will start talking to all kinds of things. And saying, God, I'm just asking God to just give me a baby. I'm not asking for too much, just a child. Everything has its own time. And I believe your time will come. Why are you taking too long? You just take it easy. For this address for over an hour now. Now that we are seen it, pay me now, let me go. Isn't it your job? Isn't it? Yo, you want me to pay you and after you drunk me and go away. Ah, ah, Chinakam. This blockhead that you are backing out here, you will be the person to take it in if it is my son's house. Ah, ah. What did they happen for this place? I've been this place looks like no man's land. I've been a bus stop. Come on, or Gaka go soon enter inside you. We are looking for this uh, address and name. Now here now, I'm be the gate man. So you are the gate man of this house. You stood there and watching me with this luggage. Instead of you to come here and carry them inside, eh? You are saying that this place is not a bus stop, eh? Mama, you know say this place just look like a house of eh? The commandment is wrong. Which kind of commandment? So you don't know? That is what you people stay here in Lagos, squandering my son's money. Open this up for me. Madam, wait, wait. Let me go and transfer the message to them Madam. Are you mad? I'm not mad, madam. So you want to leave me here? Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Madam, pay me now. Let me go. So bitter. Why shouldn't I sound so bitter? You sat down here in the house waiting for me to bring in my bag. You said I need to come and help me. You balance here. Big woman. Oh, Mama, the gate man could have helped you. It is sure that the gate man will help. Don't worry. No problem. Very soon. I'm going to bring somebody that will help you to get me my grandchildren. Since you believe in giving and receiving help. You will see.
I came in this afternoon. <laughs> and how is everybody in the everybody village? Everybody in the village, they are fine. It's such a great you. That's good, good. <laughs> uh, but why are you doing this yourself? Uh, where's my wife? Your wife? Are you asking me? Ah, she's whatever she is. Oh, mama, why are you sounding this way about your own daughter-in-law? Daughter-in-law? Look at this big and beautiful house. Lonely and quiet. Eh? There's no sound of uh, little children crying or even laughter. Mama. Don't tell me that you're one of those people. You know that if children are things that you can buy from the supermarket, my money will buy you 20 dozen. I don't want any dozen. Just start with one. Let me see. Just one. Eh? Anyway, let me go and finish. Um, cooking. Mary, please, tell me, what is it? Is it my mother? Who cares with that? Don't let her preaching about getting a second wife get to you. You must have guessed by now that is the reason she came here. I know. This is my fault. I've not been able to. Say no more. This is a phase. It will go and give way to a new face. God can respect your mother. I don't know why she's doing this to me. It's not for my own mind to, to, to give birth to a child. Mary, 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 Mary. to have that at the back of your mind all the time. Never forget that. I love you very much, okay? Hmm? You are the one that makes my day. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are the one I think of every day. Oh. Really have to talk. For instance, you didn't need to do this yourself. My wife could have done it for you instead of you going into the kitchen by yourself. I never knew your kitchen is out of bound, even to me, your own man. Look, Mama, I'm not talking about my kitchen being out of bounds to you. But you have to realize that you have a daughter-in-law in this house. And your hostility towards her are not making her comfortable at all. I'm not the one that is giving her hostility. But because of her conscience, walking towards you, that is what is disturbing her. Mama. For God's sake, Mary is not God who gives children. Do you think that is my grudges? What are your grudges, Mama? What are your grudges? She should set your mind and soul free so as to follow your path just like any other man. Mama, <coughs> what exactly are you talking about? I know there are certain women, just like your so-called wife, that are barren. But that doesn't mean that she should tie you down spiritually, so that you won't be able to have grandchildren for me. Mama, nobody is tying me down spiritually. Nobody. How do you know? How do you know? But what is stopping you from having a second wife? No. What is stopping you? Mama, Mary will have children when the time comes. I don't need a second wife. Such loyalties are meant for fools. They don't even know when they'll be dragged to their graves. Mama, I am not a fool. Then prove it. Prove it to me, your mother. Prove it to the entire village. Yes, I heard that she has even turned your mind against my will and against your proper thinking. Look, Mama, my wife is not whatever 
they have deceived you to believe through their gossips. She's not. Then what is stopping you? Whenever I send for you to come from the village, you refuse coming. What is stopping you? Nothing else. Nothing else. But this is your attitude that you are exhibiting towards Mary now. My wife. Mama, leave her alone. Leave her alone. We are all humans. Leave her alone. Patrick, how are the project you're handling now? Well, we've gone halfway through, but I still need that letter of uh, reference for my bank to release the credit. But I've sent it now. You did? Yes. When was that? Uh, that was uh, three days ago. My accountant took it there. Oh, Danny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, no, I should go in there. Oh, okay. Um, how is Mary? Mary is fine, my brother. It's just that... Uh, my mother is putting unnecessary pressure on her. Your mother? Uh, why? My mother is in town, you know, but she's leaving by the weekend. You know, see, she's battering Mary all over the place just because the poor girl is not pregnant yet. And then she wants me to take a second wife. What are you going to do? Take another wife? Are you out of your mind, Patrick? You know that I love Mary and I don't need a second wife. Uh, better. Better, but you know, you have to forgive her. She's just been concerned. Negatively, if you ask me. Look, don't blame your mother too much, you know. I can understand her feeling. Well, um, I'm going for lunch, man. Let's go together. Oh, no, sorry, 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 but I can't go now. I, I'm doing these feasibility studies. I, I need to put a proposal together. Maybe next time now, next time. Okay, okay. okay. Maybe later in the evening, I'll call you now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Patrick. No problem. Bless you. My regards to your wife. Okay? Yes, and to make your mother very much. Thank you. Mary, why are you standing away to your car? Um, my car is at the mechanic, so we need to go back. Okay, let me drop you. Where are you going to? Leave to the house. of my son's house. For Christ's sake, Mama. <laughs> that is Patrick, Daniel's best friend. I don't care who he is, whether he's Daniel's school teacher. That is how you girls of nowadays sneak around with your family friends, committing abortion here and there. But when it is time for you to have a child for your husband, you start being wanting. Mama, what have I... What, 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 what did I do, do to deserve all this insult? Who is insulting you? Who is insulting you? I. Georgiana, is it? Insult who? You? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You are the one insulting yourself when you cannot make my son a father. Just look at you. Secondhand property. Mama, you, you're saying this. If you like, cry yourself to death. I'm going to bring somebody who is going to accomplish what you have failed to achieve. I'm going to bring that person.
she dropped him in front of the house. Mama saw us. And now she's accusing me of sleeping around. What? She has been really accusing of me saying all kinds of things to me. And... I'll tell you this for you to confront Mama, please. There are certain things that must stop. Sending you away from my house, Mama. But I have to do what I have to do to keep my relationship with my wife. Hey, I said it. I said it. She has succeeded in poisoning your mind against me. You couldn't even listen to me, Daniel. I will listen to you when I come to the village next month. But for now, I have to keep you away from my wife. And I think enough is enough. Daniel! But are you still going to make it before Saturday evening? Of course. I have to go to work on Monday, you know. Besides, it's a small meeting for my, my grandmother's funeral. Can you imagine he's still in the house? Uh, Daniel, how come you're just leaving by this time? For this kind of a trip, I'm not an early riser. <laughs> how you doing? Eh? You mean to tell me you don't like to go to the village? No, I do. I do. It's just yeah. that uh, I don't like going at this time of year. You know? Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I have to leave okay. now. Yeah. Uncle has to go. Take care of yourself, eh? You were supposed to have given me a call when you came back from village last week, but I didn't hear from you. And yes, yes, I remember. 
But you see, I had to go back to the village, you know. I had to give some drugs to my mom and then take her back in for checkup, you know. All this kind of... Why is she now? Well, she's okay, she's okay, but... Uh... But... They're finally attacking Mary. My worst nightmare has come true. You mean your wife's nightmare? I love Mary Pat. I love her. I wouldn't let anything happen to her. Not even their talk about forcing another woman on me can, can change my mind, you know. They already got a girl for you? Well, they are using one kind of style, Sha, you know. They are getting my, my, my aunt's daughter, Felicia, to get one of her friends to come and spend all the day with me. Uh, so that in the, in the process, you know, we think that one or two things can happen between us, you know. Once my mother is determined, no Jupiter can stop her. For what? I just hope that Mary does not get to hear this. It will break her heart. Then nothing will happen. I'm telling you. Let's go for a drink. <laughs> No, 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 can't be, no, God, Mary, no, oh, God. nothing has gone back yet. How can you do this to me? How can you possibly do this? Baby. Do you even think about it? Don't get discouraged, okay? I just want you to have it at the back of your mind that there is a battle for you at the home front. And if you want to dissuade them, the time to act is now. What do you want me to do? I am not God. I have gone through a series of tests. Everything has happened. Nothing. That means you're prepared to lose your home and your place in Daniel's life to one local girl. Please, Patrick, what are you trying to tell me? What are you saying? Mary, keep an eye on your husband and keep your ears on the ground. They've concluded an arrangement, as I'm talking to you now, to get a new wife for Daniel. Her name is Felicia. And Daniel told me that he will not bring her into this house until she's pregnant. That's why she's not here yet. Why? I don't know. He told me all this in confidence. But as a friend, I just felt I should let you know. Mary, he even told me that even if you find out about this Felicia and ask him, he will tell you she's one distant cousin of his living in Kaduna or... Whatever story. If you doubt me, ask him. So, what do you want me to do? Oh, uh, Mary, get your pregnancies elsewhere. You're not a kid. What? I am not ready for any kind of ritual. And who is talking about rituals here? Get someone outside there to get you pregnant. Right? Over my dead body. You're about to lose your husband and all you can say is... I is love my husband, okay? And my body is for him. How dare you, Patrick? I can't even think about this. So far, where has this gotten you to? Hatred, insults, wars from your in-laws. Mary, things have changed. And the table is about to turn against you. And um, <laughs> what are you cooking? Or should we go out to eat? No. I'm preparing vegetable stew and planting. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry already. <laughs> Just add chicken to it. Fried. 
and you would have done nothing wrong. You are fighting. <laughs> I was thinking of going to the village to see your mother. Why? Why do you want to go to the village? Remember she was ill. Yeah, but she's okay now and it's always as if it was a serious illness. Besides, the last medical checkup confirms her to be strong and healthy. In that case, you don't want me to go. Well, I don't see the need. Aha, uh -huh, somebody called. She said she's your cousin from the village. My cousin from the village? Any name? Yes. She called herself Felicia. She called herself Felicia. Do you know her? Oh, 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 Felicia. Yes, 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 I know her. Ha, <laughs> ha, I know her. She's my distant aunt's daughter. You know, I met her for the first time when I went to the village the last time. Uh, she was such a small girl. But now she's all grown up. I mean, she's a big girl now. You and, know? You, and, <clears throat> and, and you gave her a number, meaning that you approve of her. When is she coming for holidays so that I can move her? Oh, no, she's not coming for holidays, not at all. She's not. I mean, she lives in the north, uh, school and all that. Um, I'm even sure she's gone back to Kaduna now. No, she's not coming for holidays at all. Oh, sweetheart, let me go take a shower. The institute is organizing a workshop to be followed by a seminar in JOS. Um, I've been drafted into the technical and organizing committees. Mm. Well, that is nice. That means you'll be coming home. No, no, not exactly. Mm. The, 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 same, the conference is taking place in JOS. I'll be away for about 10 days, probably two weeks. That is too long. Am I coming with you? Even if you do, I'll be so busy I won't have time for you and you'll be irritated. You know, the, the, the whole welfare department is under my charge. It's going to be really hectic. Oh. You don't understand. But I really miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you too, but I'll call you. I'll always call you. Always. Every minute, every hour, every 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 time. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is not true. Look, when he told me about Felicia's pregnancy, I wasn't happy. But I just felt I should let you. No, 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 you're lying to me. Patrick, you're lying. Patrick. Mary, he told you also about a conference. There is no conference. He just wanted to stay away from me for two weeks. Tell me I'm lying to you. It has already been Mary. And time is not on this side. You, know, you, you cannot get pregnant overnight. With someone else? Yeah. But with Daniel, I don't know. But if I can get someone else pregnant, why can't you get me pregnant? That's the question you were to son. When they have thrown you out of your matrimonial home and lapped you, I wish that it's on one day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone else has to do the job. 
if you must secure your home and marriage. No, 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 this is all light. This is all light. Oh, now I get it. This is the trick you and Daniel are trying to pull on me. But I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm sorry. Why is there nobody at this gate? Eh? Even already has girl, you didn't place here. I've been looking for the past two hours, nobody answered me. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Please. Who are you? Oh, you don't know me. Well, I'm Chief Callistus Eguomo. I am from the village. I was sent to give very important message to our brother Daniel. I hope he's inside. No, Uncle. He's not at home. He he traveled. Traveled? Yes. For what? Why should you travel at this critical moment? Eh? Why? When the entire kindreds and our new in-laws are waiting for him. New in-laws? What are you talking about, though? Oh, oh, oh. So he didn't tell you? Hey, Danny, 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 go Tell me what, I don't understand. Hey? But we asked him to inform you so both of you can come down to the village for the bride prize ceremony of his new wife, Felicia, who is not pregnant. Hey? Why didn't he tell you? Hey, Danny, 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 Danny. Anyway, um, since he's not in, let me go and see our brother, Okabu, because I'm going to spend the night there. But... If he goes back, they not to disappoint us anymore. He has no reason to disappoint. Because during the weekends, he was coming to water the pregnant woman. Is it now that he will disappoint? They not to disappoint you. Hey, Patrick. <laughs> Everything went fine. I wish you were at your place of honor when I entered the compound. I intimidated the lady and the lady. The, um, uh, yes. Did she believe you? I told her that every weekend her husband comes to water the pregnant woman and she was crying. She was crying. I wish you were there. You are going to double the money now. You are, you are, you are giving me. Uh, um, see, um, uh, I will give you what we agree. Uh, okay? uh, then. If I go and try uh, and walk, oh, forget that one. I did a night job. 
I manage this one, eh? Mm-hmm. Just prepare for another job because this one is gone. <laughs> <laughs> well done, eh? Hey, but you should get mad. Well done, eh? But, but, let me go. Just tell the call, so I had to come. Is everything all right? Let's do it. Sorry? Do what? I... I want you to get me pregnant. This must be a joke. Stop pretending, okay? I know you've always wanted me. What? I want you to help me save my marriage. Get me pregnant, Patrick. Baby, I'm your husband's friend. But that is why you must do it. Nobody will know. Nobody will suspect anything. And remember, you once loved me, right? Are you sure of this? I can only trust you. You're the one that knows what I'm going through. We've been friends for a long time. I have never been sure of anything in my life. I'm I have waited late at I reach out to touch Feel you by my side And I live What are you doing? You know Congratulations. You are pregnant. Uh, sorry, doctor. What did you say? You are pregnant. I am pregnant. Doctor, are you are you very sure that yes. oh, sorry. you are pregnant? I am pregnant. I am pregnant. <laughs> You see me. See you for what? Have you finished your jamboree with the girls they were organizing for you at the village? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, okay? Your cover has been blown. But how could you turn it? How could you go behind my back to arrange to marry another wife? Are you tired of me? Mary, what did you just say? A man came here. He said he's from your village. 
And he told me everything. He told me everything I needed no, no, to know. Mary, please, if this is a joke, it is not at all funny. Is this the way you choose to welcome me back home? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, Daniel. That you got me pregnant only for you to run away with your people looking for another wife to marry? Oh. So you came to throw me out so that you can bring her in, right? Is that what you came to do? Well, you can do whatever. Go ahead, do it. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Just go ahead, okay? Damn. Mary. Are you pregnant? Oh, get your stinking hands off me. You lying bastard. Who do you think you are? Look, Mary, I swear to you, I do not know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I, I made no arrangements whatsoever with anybody to get a new wife. I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. The man came here. He said his name is Egwong or whatever. I didn't give a damn. Just stop lying to me, Daniel. Look, Daniel. I do not know anybody by that name. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. It's like okay. I love you, Mary. I don't care whether you have a child or not. I love you. And I will never hide anything from you, Mary. I love you. What do I need another woman for? If I want, I would have done that ages ago. Mary, I love you. I love you. And I swear to you, there's no one else. You came here. You're the one that makes my day. You came here? Oh, yeah. He was almost shouting at me. You are the Made a mockery of me, my husband. Look, I am here now. Oh, Let him come so my that I will know. heart belongs to you. My life will surrender to you, my heart will be with you, Are you wherever okay? you go, my love will be yours, whenever you need me, I will always be before you, whenever you need me, because I love you, oh yeah. It is. Is this the time a responsible man with a family should be coming back from work? It is almost midnight. For God's sake, I can come home to my house anytime I want. Ah. And for your information, don't you ever lock me out again. Oh, God, tell that to this prostitute you disgrace yourself with. Patrick, what do you take me for? Look, I'm not cut out for this nonsense, Lucy. Ah. I had a busy day. Okay, we will know what Hey, I hope you're not telling that to me. I hope you are not telling me good night, Patrick. You see that dish there? I prepared it. You made me prepare so you will eat it. Feed it to the dogs, Lucy. She said I should feed it to the dogs. I should feed that food. Lucy, it's a... I want to take my rest, Lucy. Please. No, if you want to take your rest, you're going to sit down on the dining table and eat that food. You, you, you are wasting my time in preparing. Lucy. Lucy. What? Eat that food, though. But if you eat that food, though. Oh. What the heck is wrong with you? You're going to eat this food. You're not only going to eat this food, you're going to finish it. Oh my God, can't I rest in my house? Can't I rest? What is it? What have I done to you? Can't I rest? I go to work in the morning. I come back, I waste my time in making food for you here. Look at the time you're coming back from working, family man. But you forgot that you've got kids. You eat it though. You will not even only eat this food. You will finish it. Ha! <laughs> What is it that I've done to you?
Can I see her? Why not? Follow me. What are you doing there? It's my picture and my and, uh, and the baby. What baby? Mary's baby. Patrick, when did you take this picture? Oh, that day we went for their child's dedication. And since he's the first baby of my best friend, I just have five whole years. I just thought it good to have a picture like that. For what purpose? For remembrance. Remembrance. Them five whole years. Maybe just to give testimony to God. Patrick, please, I will not have someone else's picture that is not a member of my family hanging on the wall. But they are our family friends. So what? So I take a look around. How many of our children's pictures, mine or yours, is hanging on the wall? I missed you, my darling. What is this? all kinds of places in London. Really? All kinds of places in London. My love. The love of my life. How are you? Mommy, I'm really hungry. Really, really, really. You hungry? Yes, mommy. Okay, can we prepared something really tiny? Let me show you.
You were the first to ever brought me out. Show me what life and love is all about. Gave me things that I never need. You read my thoughts, my every dream. I found you. I'm kissing the way you made me blush. Life is cool now that you're gone. I learned to swim. Okay, let go. Yeah. I'll be here, not trying to solve it. The way that you love me. I love you, not trying to solve again, but knowing that you love me. Hate you so. Mr. Wilson, that was a very strong warrior, a very strong soldier. He was the, the he was going to be the emperor of Rome. You know Rome, you know Rome in history. Yes. He was going to be the strong, very, very strong emperor of Rome. But some people gathered together, they called them conspirators. And when they got into the Senate chambers, where the senators sit down to hold their meeting, they planned to kill him. So as he was speaking, somebody just got up his, one of his friends who used a knife to stab Julius Caesar. And Julius Caesar was still strong, he was, he was not ready to die yet. He was still strong, and he was going on. And then his best friend called Brutus. Brutus now stabbed Caesar. As Peter stabbed Caesar, he saw that his own best friend had betrayed him. So there was no need for him to live again. His best friend planned with the other people to kill him. And when the spirit of Brutus now stabbed Caesar, Caesar died. And as he was dying, he said, Et tu Brute, it means you too, Brutus. So you are among the people who will kill me. You know, when your best friend betrays you. Is it a good thing? Okay. That's why Caesar died. And you will hear a lot of people now saying, Ed to Brute. And Caesar was a very, very strong man. He, was, he has conquered many countries. So I want you to be a strong man and don't ever learn to betray anybody. You know what betrayal is? Okay. When, when you yes, betray, when you, when you turn against when you when you when you plan with somebody and then you go and do something else. Good men don't do that kind of thing. I You were the first who ever brought me out. You'll be with life and love was all about. Gave me things that I never need. You're in my thought, my every dream. I found your heart in your touch. I'm set the way you made me blush. Life is cruel, 
Where's your mother? She's coming. She's still a minute. Now, what sort of rubbish make up his dad? Lucy! Lucy! Uh -uh. Can't you see it's getting late? Why are you yelling like this now? Nah? What, what do you mean it's getting late? Is it not been anywhere going to? Why are you talking as if it's Cardinal we're going to? My friend, get inside. I don't have time. Where is this person's kid? Open up here now. Where is this person's kid? Where is this person's Yes, yeah, his family was with him when he got called. He's badly affected. But how badly do you mean? Um, his lower spine is damaged. Meaning? He may not be able to work again. Children. I'm sorry. They are the much No! Here you are, brother. We have to go in now. What's your food? No, you like it. You know my family members are all dead. Please, you know it. No, brother. You can't go on like this. You have to concentrate on your getting well first. Get well for me. And why didn't this event take me to Why? Because we still need to. We are very glad you are alive to compensate us over your family's death. But most of all, you have to get well for us. Yeah. Yes. Kate, Lucy, all my family's are here. Thank you. 
Hi, Patrick. Oh, Wow, it's good to see you out of bed. Um, Danny sent his greeting. He says he's going to be here later. How was your day, man? Oh, same thing. Where is your sister, Anne? I haven't seen her. Um, she left here two hours ago, but she'll be back later in the day. Um, Patrick, I got your message saying I should come alone. I hope everything is okay. Mary, my morning has suddenly turned to midnight. A midnight filled with nightmares. The gentle wind that caressed my troubled soul now mocked me. The sun has refused to shine on me. Patrick, you... You speak in parables. There's no reason for you to mourn yourself, okay? Just be thankful to God that you're alive. And it's only God that knows the reason why he took your family away. I'll mourn myself, Mary. But I've decided to take the only option left. It's true I lost my family to death, but not entirely. I still have someone left. One child left. One child? I'm talking about Junior, man. What? I know this might come to you as a rude shock, but Junior is still my child. I want him back. <laughs> Patrick, wait. God, Patrick, no. No, 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 no. You promised me. Why do you want to ruin me? No, 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 you, you, you promised! No, Patrick, you can't do this to me. Mary, I have no choice. Can't you see I'm paralyzed and cannot pregnant a woman again? Damn you, Patrick! Damn you! Oh, God! Please tell me. How am I supposed to explain to Daniel? That his son of nine years is not his, but a product of circumstantial adultery committed by a wife he'd loved. Tell me. Mary, I lost my family to death. This junior is the only thing I have left. I don't want to be alone. Please, please. I need to set her this here. Why am I willing to pay you anything? I'm willing to fly you abroad for you to get medical treatment. Just anything. Just stay away from the I want nothing else but my child. My flesh and blood. I don't want to be alone, please. That's fair. Stay away from me. You're asking for the impossible. And don't you ever don't even think about it. Mary. You want my child back. That's serious.
I hope we're not going far. No, no. I just wanted to feel the earth. I will see the sun again. And feel the warm atmosphere battle my system again. So, where are we going? Anywhere. Just anywhere around. I've been at home for a long, whole week. So boring. You may have to come back to make dinner. Oh, no, no, no. Things have changed in this street. <laughs> As if they were waiting for me to go out. So <laughs> don't talk about it. Oh, my God. 
Oh, you missed! I paid you well! Then the Gemma got lucky, you know. I was already in the room. They lost from nowhere I entered and there's nothing I could do about it. And you ran away. Better go back and finish the job. No, there's no way I'm going back to that hospital. That place by now will really be clamoring with the police. Step out of the car. Keep in touch. We need to strike again. You said you could not recognize the face of the criminal. No, not exactly, sir. There was no way I would have recognized his face. I was really too scared to look at him. Doctor, has anything like this ever happened before in this hospital? No, nothing like this has ever happened in my hospital. It's the first time, and I'm shocked. Do you keep cash or items of extreme value in the hospital? Not really. I saved the life of my patient. And that will be open now, Doctor. We will contact you on another level. It's alright. The office. So, Mr. Patrick, I want to know the truth. I want to know everything. You know as well as we do. Whosoever that came here trying to kill you knows you very well. What is it all about? You have a choice, Mr. Patrick. You have a choice. You either tell us the truth so we can hunt the criminals down or you keep it to yourself and die with it. From the records we have, they've missed you twice. And you might not be lucky the third time, and you know it. I strongly believe it's Mary that is behind all this. Because she has my child. But the doctor said you lost your entire family in an auto crash that almost got you killed. So what child would that be? It's a long story. Good. Tell us everything. I don't think I can release my patient. As you can see, we are still administering treatment on him. Whoever that is wanting him will certainly come back for him. So we have to move him immediately to save his life. And of course, save the hospital and the embarrassment. I don't know how safe that is. How oh, very safe, trust us. This is a secret strategy. However, doctor, we will bring him back to you. In that case, I'll come every morning to administer treatment on him. But I'm not wrong. Should his condition be to wait? Not bring him back to the doctor. Good.
Uh, please, please get me a cup of coffee. All right. I just want to be alive to see my only surviving child. Come here. Just relax and act indifferent. Okay. Oh, Madam Bochik, what happened? How are you now? I'm just rushing from the hospital where they told me they disturbed you temporarily. Yes. I needed to come home to film my environment. I maybe take some exercise and return to the hospital. These are the doctors that are helping me. That's Chidi. Thank you very much, Joseph. But I, I hope this works out. But definitely, we're going to do our best. Uh, so, Mr. Patrick, you take care now. Now, when this is all over, you and I are going for a long vacation. Probably to South Africa. Uh, or wherever. Uh, you need a very, very good change of environment. Thank you. Please get another cup for my friend. Oh, no, 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 I'm okay. Sorry. Well, I'm very a bit ill now. I'm going to discuss it at home with you. Thanks. Take it in real easy. I think you're going to ask you to pass me. Lest I forget, honey. Yeah. Um, Patrick was temporarily discharged from the hospital today. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but, but I, I told him I was supposed to refer him for more advanced treatment abroad. <laughs> paralysis is paralysis. You have to be a god to be able to treat paralysis. But um, what is he going to be doing at home, at home all alone? No, he's not alone. His uh, sister is with him, Anne. Oh. Okay, yeah, I guess that, that's better for him. Yeah, someone will take care of
You're a person I least expect me to see. How come nobody came to us at the door earlier? You must be alone. Um, no, not really. I, my sister is in the kitchen. In the kitchen? I don't think so. I just saw her in. Oh, she left. Oh, in that case, she'll be back very soon. Well, let's hope. Let's hope, Patrick. Uh, Mary, what are you doing here? Have you come to bring Junior back? <laughs> bring Junior back? <laughs> you really make me laugh. You want to be happy so that the whole world will turn around and mock me, right? I'm sorry, Patrick, I can't do that. In that case, I'll confront your husband and tell him the truth. Mary, be considerate and bring back my son. It's the only thing I have left. That when you're dead. You must be a cat with nine lives. I hid you with a car, but you survived. I sent someone to kill you, but the fool couldn't do it. Now I must do it myself. Mary. What will you gain if you do that? Only ask for my son, the flesh and blood. Blood? But baby, our little white secret has to be buried forever. If I kill you now, nobody will know about genius paternity and I will safe with my marriage. If you do this, nemesis will catch you. <laughs> Until then, Maybe when we we'll meet in the world beyond, we are either the friend or end. For now, drop the gun. Tony! I have to kill him. He was dead! You are under arrest for attempted murder, first degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and an accomplice to murder. You have the right to remain silent because whatever you say or do, will be used against you as evidence in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Take her away. No! He's not dead! He's not dead! Yes! He's not dead! He's not dead! He's not dead! He's not dead! Officer, I'm telling you, there's no way I will allow you to take this boy away from me. No way is he leaving this house. I'm sorry, me. Mr. Daniel, but we must go with the child now. The law demands that. Look, I want to look at his face. I want to look into his eyes and hear him tell me, my so-called friend, hear him tell me why he's tormenting me like this. I'm sorry, Mr. Daniel. We are still investigating the true paternity of the boy. And since that is still going on, neither you or Patrick will be in possession of the boy. Where will he be? Look here, officer. For nine years, nine good years, this boy called me father. Do you think it's easy? Where was Patrick for nine years? Where was he? It's a pain you will have to deal with. Your wife, the mother of this boy. Confess. Look, I don't care what that disgrace of a woman said. I am not letting this boy go. He's not leaving this house and I'm ready to spill my blood for that. Sergeant, Sir. move this boy. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. This is what. Leave it.
It's a good thing you have attended me on the kids. Look, but, but how could you have been so mean and seamless? You mean Patrick, your friend? There are people like that. I tried to use the nine years factor against him in court, but he did not hold water. Barista. I'm afraid of what? I'm afraid of the DNA test. Come on, I don't know you to be a weakling. You have to fight this cause to the end. It's not going to be easy, but we must fight it. Barrister, I love Junior. I love him so much. I don't want to miss him. I wonder where he is now. According to the law, you're not supposed to know where he is. For fear that you might take him and run away. No! I can never do such a thing. I'm not that kind of person. I'm just wondering where he is. He's fine. You're taking good care of him. I'll leave you now to rest. But remember, next week the result of the DNA test will be out. I'll meet you at the hospital. Thank you. I'm so that we all will witness the result of the genetic test first time from the doctor. Officer, he has no right whatsoever to be here. He should be locked away and made to suffer for destroying my family. Let me kill you! It's yours! Your family is safe, Daniel. Mary was mine before you set your eyes on her, remember? She was and still is the woman of my dreams. Years back in school, I loved and cherished this girl, dreaming and praying of spending the rest of my life with her. And from nowhere, you, my so-called friend, took her away from me just because you had money and I was a nobody. Actually, you're a sick man. And you need help. But the only help you are going to get is a free ticket to hell. And I will make sure you get it. All of us will die one day, old friend. <laughs> How sweet this revenge is. Taking back my child. The child that you love so much. The child you erroneously thought was your child. The child that Mary gave to me after carrying my pregnancy. The pregnancy you could not give her because you were not man enough. I win, Daniel, just like I had dreamt of. I also signed with the paternity of the century president. And yes, and if you're through with the result, I would hope to pronounce the proper respect. I will also need a copy of the result to present at the headquarters. Well, from statements available to us and uh, certain pronounced claims, and of course putting uh, recorded data into consideration, we came up with one major finding, which is a fact, judging by the time the mother said she took in. And I don't, what exactly are you talking about? Uh, the dates were all wrong. The time Mary claimed or thought she took in, wasn't right. She must have taken him some two weeks back without knowing it. Wait a minute, doctor. What do you mean, doctor? Are you saying that 
Mary was two weeks pregnant before she slept with this. This man, exactly. From the genetic text. And of course, the blood text conducted. I'm afraid, Mr. Patrick, you are not the father of the child. What? There's no way you could have been. Look, it can't be. Look, I, I will contest this test. Mr. Daniels, we have an extremely close relativity between you and the child. It is certain that you are the father of the child. Congratulations. <laughs> You were the first who ever brought me out Told me what life and love was all about Gave me things that I never need You're in my thoughts, my every dream I found your heart in you tonight I said the way you made me blush Life is cruel Now that you're gone I love you so I can't let go yeah. I don't be you yet I'm trying to solve again Know oh, that you love me I don't be you yet I'm trying to solve again Know oh, that you love me Hate you so, don't you done with me? Really fall in love with us, I can't move on, move on my life. But it's so hard when you're still on my mind. I find your in your time. I Your mom is not likely to come on soon. But don't worry, don't worry. I'll take care of you. I'll take very, very good care of you, okay? Nothing's going to happen to you, huh? No, I want my mom to come home. I want you to to love me. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, how are you? Oh, no, no, no. Pardon me, I'm out of this one. Yeah. Junior, how are you? Well, I must thank you for all your assistance in getting my son back. I'm happy you chose to fight for your son. But Junior, you will have lost him. You know? Yeah, Junior. Well, I thank God for the strength. Thank God for the strength. Barrister. Yeah. You see, Junior has been asking some questions. Um, and sometimes it really bothers him. About what? He wants his mommy to come back home. <laughs> I'm sure you have to let him know his mom is not going to be around for a while or anymore. I hear Patrick has dropped the charges against Mary. Yes, he did. Barrister, I want you to get my wife back home to me. Go for her bill, cut charges, 
got fines or whatever it is. I just want her back home. Are you insane? That woman humiliated your image and disgraced your marriage. Well, she, she, she was under pressure from my family and uh, she, was, she was deceived by somebody. Somebody I call a family friend. My best friend. Barrister, I loved Mary once. And I'm sure I can still find that love again. No one understands her as much as I do. I have forgiven her in my heart. And besides, Junior needs his mommy. Do you really need her this much? To err is human. And to forgive is divine. Yes.
But are you sure you're going to make it before Saturday evening? Of course. I have to go to work on Monday, you know. Besides, it's a small meeting for my, my grandmother's funeral. Can you imagine he's still in the house? Uh, Daniel, how come you're just leaving by this time? For this kind of a trip, I'm not an early riser. <laughs> how are you doing? You mean to tell me you don't like to go to the village? No, I do. I do. It's just that uh, I don't like going at this time of year. You know? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I have to leave okay. now. Yeah. Uncle has to go. Take care of yourself, eh? Pato! Ah, now, Pato, where have you been? I should be asking you now. What? You were supposed to have given me a call when you came back from village last week, but I didn't hear from you. And yes, yes, I remember. But you see, I had to go back to the village, you know. I had to give some drugs to my mom and then take her back in for checkup, you know. All this kind of. Why is she now? Well, she's okay, she's okay, but. Uh, Pat, they're finally attacking Mary. My worst nightmare has come true. You mean your wife's nightmare? I love Mary, Pat. I love her. I wouldn't let anything happen to her. Not even their talk about forcing another woman on me can, can change my mind. They already got a girl for you? Well, they are using one kind of style, Sha, you know. They are getting my, my, my aunt's daughter, Felicia, to get one of her friends to come and spend all the day with me. Uh, so that in the, in the process, you know, they think that one or two things can happen between us, you know. Once my mother is determined, no Jupiter can stop her. For what? I just hope that Mary does not get to hear this. It will break her heart. Man, nothing will happen. I'm telling you. Let's go for a drink. There is a battle for you at the home front. And 
If you want to dissuade them, the time to act is now. What do you want me to do? I am not God. I have gone through a series of tests. Everything, nothing has happened. Nothing. That means you're prepared to lose your home and your place in Daniel's life to one local girl. Please, Patrick, what are you trying to tell me? What are you saying? Mary, keep an eye on your husband and keep your ears on the ground. They've concluded an arrangement as I'm talking to you now to get a new wife for Daniel. Her name is Felicia. And Daniel told me that he will not bring her into this house until she's pregnant. That's why she's not here yet. Why? I don't know. He told me all this in confidence. But as a friend, I just felt I should let you know. Mary, he even told me that even if you find out about this Felicia and ask him, he will tell you she's one distant cousin of his living in Kaduna or whatever story. If you doubt me, ask him. So, what do you want me to do? Oh, Mary, get your pregnancies elsewhere. You're not a kid. What? I am not ready for any kind of ritual. And who is talking about rituals here? Get someone outside there to get you pregnant. pregnant. Over my dead body. You're about to lose your husband and all you can say. I love my husband, okay? And my body is for him. How dare you, Patrick? I can't even think about this. So far, where has this gotten you to? Hatred, insults, wars from your in-laws. Mary, things have changed. And the table is about to turn against you. But it's okay. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> what are you cooking? Or should we go out to eat? No. I'm preparing vegetables too. I'm planting. Mm. I'm hungry already. <laughs> Just add chicken to it. Fried. And you would have done nothing wrong. You would add fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of going to the village to see your mother. Why? Why do you want to go to the village? Remember she was ill. Yeah, but she's okay now and it's always as if it was a serious illness. Besides, the last medical checkup confirms her to be strong and healthy. In that case, you don't want me to go. Well, I don't see the need. Aha, uh -huh, somebody called. She said she's your cousin from the village. My cousin from the village? Any name? Yes. She called herself Felicia. She called herself Felicia. Do you know her? Oh, 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 Felicia. Yes, 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 I know her. <laughs> I know her. She's my distant aunt's daughter. You know, I met her for the first time when I went to the village the last time. Uh, she was such a small girl. But now she's all grown up. I mean, she's a big girl now. You and, know? You, so and, and you gave her a number, meaning that you approve of her. When is she coming for holidays so that I can move her? No, no, she's not coming for holidays, not at all. She's not. I mean, she lives in the north, uh, uh, school and all that. Um, I'm even sure she's gone back to Kaduna now. No, she's not coming for holidays at all. Oh, sweetheart, let me go take a shower. Oh, sweat. Sure. 
have to go to tell him. The institute is organizing a workshop to be followed by a seminar with us. Um, I've been drafted into technical and organizing committees. Oh, that is nice. That means you'll be coming home. No, no, not exactly. The 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 same the conference is taking place in Jos. I'll be away for about ten days, probably two weeks. That is too long. Am I coming with you? Even if you do, I'll be so busy I won't have time for you and you'll be irritated. You know, the, the whole welfare department is under my charge. It's going to be really hectic. I really miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. But I'll call you. I'll always call you. Always. Every minute, every hour, every, every, every time. Yeah. 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 No, this is not true. Look, when he told me about Felicia's pregnancy, I wasn't happy. But I just felt I should let you. No, 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 you're lying to me. Patrick, you're lying. Mary, he told you also about a conference. There is no conference. He just wanted to stay away from you for two weeks. Tell me I'm lying. Right. Yes. 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 Mary, someone else has to do the job if you must secure your home and marriage. No, 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 no this is all light. This is all light. Oh, now I get it. This is the trick you and Daniel are trying to pull on me. But I'm not going to fall for it. I'm sorry. No. Why is there nobody at this gate? Eh? Even ordinary house girl didn't place here. I've been looking for the past two hours, nobody answered me. Why? Wait, 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 excuse me. Yes. Please. Who are you? Oh, you don't know me. Well, I'm Chief Callistus Eguomo. I am from the village. I was sent to give very important message to our brother Daniel. I hope he's inside. No, Uncle. He's not at home. He he traveled. Traveled? Yes. For what? Why should you travel at this critical moment? Eh? Why? When the entire kindreds and our new in-laws are waiting for him. New in-laws? What are you talking about, Uncle? Oh, oh, oh. So he didn't tell you? Hey, Dan, 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 you go by the man. Tell me what, I don't know. Hey? But we asked him to inform you so both of you can come down to the village for the bright prize ceremony of his new wife, Felicia, who is not pregnant. Hey? What did he tell you? Hey, Dan, 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 Dan. Anyway, um, since he's not in, let me go and see our brother, Okabu, because I'm going to spend the night there. Wait. If he comes back, say not to disappoint us anymore. He has no reason to disappoint. Because during the weekends he was coming to water the pregnant woman. Is it now that he will disappoint? Tell him not to disappoint you.
I wish you had your face of honor when I entered the compound. I need to take the lady and the lady. The, um, uh, yes. She believe you. Hey, hey, hey. I told her that every weekend her husband comes to water the pregnant woman and she was crying. She was crying. I wish you were there. You are going to double the money now. You are, you are, you are giving me. Uh, you see, um, hey, hey. I will give you what we agreed. Hey, yeah? hey. Then. If I go and try hey. and walk, oh, forget that one. I did a night job. I managed this one, eh? Mm -hmm. Just prepare for another job because this one is gone. No problem. Well done, eh? Hey, well done. Hey, pass. Well done. You should get mad. Well done, eh? Pass, pass, let me go. Hey, the party is getting long for me. So, had to come. Is everything all right? Let's do it. Sorry? Do what? I... I want you to get me pregnant. This must be a joke. Stop pretending, okay? I know you've always wanted me. Oh I want you to help me save my marriage. Get me pregnant, Patrick. Baby, I'm your husband's friend. But that is why you must do it. Nobody will know. Nobody will suspect anything. And remember, he once loved me, right? Are you sure of this? I can only trust you. You're the one that knows what I'm going through. We've been friends for a long time. I have never been sure of anything in my life. Doctor, what did you say? You are pregnant. I am pregnant. Doctor, are you, are you very sure that? Uh, Absolutely. You are pregnant. I am pregnant. I am pregnant.
your jamboree with the girls they were organizing for you at the village? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, okay? Your cover has been blown. Oh, how could you tell me? How could you go behind my back to arrange to marry another wife? Are you tired of me? Mary, what did you just say? A man came here. He said he's from your village. And he told me everything. He told me everything I needed to know. Mary, please, if this is a joke, it is not at all funny. Is this the way you choose to welcome me back home? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, Daniel. That you got me pregnant only for you to run away with your people looking for another wife to marry? Oh, so you came to throw me out so that you can bring her in, right? Is that what you came to do? Well, you can do whatever. Go ahead, do it. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Just go ahead, okay? Are you pregnant? Oh, get your speaking hands off me. You lying bastard. Who do you think you are? Look, Mary, I swear to you, I do not know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I, I made no arrangements whatsoever with anybody to get a new wife. I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. The, the man came here. He said his name is Egwong or whatever. I don't give a damn. Just stop lying to me, damn it. Look, I do not know anybody by that name. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. It's like again. I love you, Mary. I don't care whether you have a child or not. I love you. And I will never hide anything from you, Mary. I love you. What do I need another woman for? If I want, I would have done that ages ago. Mary, I love you. I love you. And I swear to you, there's no one else. You came here. You are the one that makes my day. You came here. Oh yeah. He was almost shouting at me. You are the made a mockery of me. Look, I am here now. Oh, Let him come so that I will know. My heart him. belongs to you. My life is surrendered to you. My heart will be with you. Are you Wherever in? you go, my love will be yours. Whenever you need me, I will always be there for you. Whenever you need me, because I love you. Oh yeah, you are the one. time it is? Is this the time a responsible man with a family should be coming back from work? It is almost midnight. For God's sake, I can come home to my house anytime I want. Ah. And for your information, don't you ever lock me out again. Oh, God, tell that to those prostitutes you disgrace yourself with. Patrick, what do you take me for? Look, I'm not cut out for this nonsense, Lucy. Ah. I had a busy day. Okay, good well, don't worry. Hey, I hope you're not telling that to me. I hope you're not telling me good night, Patrick. You see that dish there? I prepared it. You made me prepare it so you will eat it. Feed it to the dogs, Lucy. She said she 
feed it to the dogs. I should feed that food. Lucy, it's I it. want to take my rest, Lucy. Please. No, if you want to take your rest, you're going to sit down on that dining table and eat that food. You, you, you are wasting my time in preparing. Lucy. Lucy. What? Eat that food, though. But did you eat that food, though? How? Oh. What the heck is wrong with you? You're going to eat this food. You're not only going to eat this food, you're going to finish it. Oh my God, can't I rest in my house? Can't I rest? What is it? What have I done to you? I, I go to work in the morning. I come back, I waste my time in making food for you here. Look at the time you're coming back from working, family man. Do you forget that you've got kids? You eat it though. You will not even only eat this food. You will finish it. Huh? What is it that I've done to you? No, I'm my wife. She's doing okay. She's okay. I see. Who, who is your wife? The pregnant woman I brought here. Okay. This is one of Wow. Congratulations, sister. You have a baby boy. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Not good. Can I see her? Why not? Follow me. It's my picture and my unknown. I'm a baby. What baby? Mary's baby. Patrick, when did you take this picture? Oh, that day we went for their child's dedication. And since he's the first baby of my best friend, I just after five whole years, I just thought it good to have a picture like this. For what purpose? For remembrance. Remembrance. Them five whole years. Maybe just to give testimony to God. Patrick, please, I will not have someone else's picture that is not a member of my family 
hanging on the wall. But they are our family friends. So what? So I take a look around. How many of our children's pictures, mine or yours, is hanging on the wall? I don't want to see you. My darling. Oh, you see that all kinds of places in London. Really? My love. The love of my life. How are you? Only I'm really hungry. You hungry? Yes, mommy. Okay, don't worry. I prepared something really special for you, darling. Okay, let me show you. You were the first who ever brought me out Showed me what life and love was all about Gave me things that I never knew You're in my thoughts, my every dream I found your heart, you touch I wish you said the way you made me touch Life is cruel, now she gone, I love you so, I can't let go of me, not over you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me, not over you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Hate you so. Well, this Julius Caesar was a very strong warrior, a very strong soldier. He was the he, he was going to be the emperor of Rome. You know Rome. Do you know Rome in history? Yes. <laughs> he was going to be strong, a very very strong emperor of Rome. But some people gathered together. They called them conspirators. And when they got into the senate chambers, where the senators sit down to hold their meeting. They plan to kill him. So as he was speaking, somebody just got off his one of his friends so he just used a knife to stab your sister. And your sister was still strong. He was he was not ready to die yet. He was still strong and it was going on. And then his best friend called Brutus. Brutus now stabbed Caesar. As Brutus stabbed Caesar, he saw that his own best friend had betrayed him. So there was no need for him to live again. His best friend planned with the other people to kill him. And when the strange Brutus now stabbed Caesar, Caesar died. As he was dying, he said, Et tu Brute, which means you too, Brutus. So you are among the people who will kill me. You know, when your best friend betrays you, is it a good thing? Yeah. That's why Caesar died. And you hear a lot of people now saying, Ed Brute. And Caesar was a very, very strong man. He has conquered many countries. So I want you to be a strong man. And 
Don't ever learn to betray anybody. You know what betrayal is? <laughs> when when you yes betray, when you when you turn against, when you when you when you plan with somebody and then you go and do something else. Good men don't do that kind of thing. Not only you yet, not trying to fall again, no way that you love me. Not only you yet, not trying to fall again, no way that you love me. Not only you yet, not You were the first who ever brought me out Showed me what life and love was all about Gave me things that I never needed You're in my thoughts, my every dream I found joy in your touch I am says the way you made me blush Life is cruel, not to go on I love you so, I can't let go, yeah I don't be you yet, not trying to forget The way that you love me Not over you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Hate you so, what you done to me, made me fall in love with you. There's no time. Where's your mother? She's coming. She's still loving my phone. Ah, what sort of rubbish makeup is that? Lucy! Lucy! Uh, uh, can't you see it's getting late? Why are you yelling like this, Nah? What, you, what do you mean it's getting late? Is it not being in we're going to? Why are you talking as if it's Kajina we're going to? to? My friend, get me back. I don't have time. Like, uh, what is this nonsense? Get my Open that gate now. Mess of God for me. Oh, oh. No, please. Oh, doctor, please. How is he? Yes, how terrible. It's yes, probably, yeah, it's probably what we hear when it occurred. Um, it's badly affected. But how badly do you mean? Um, his nose spine is damaged. Meaning? He may not be able to work again. Oh, God. Paralysis, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. What about this wife and children? I'm sorry, you're in the much No!
my family. They're all fine. Who's my wife? She's fine. She's fine. But, but I want to see them out. No, okay. I want to see them. Let me 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 see them. Oh, so she's with, with my family. Oh, man, what was she? I want to see them. 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 Here you are, brother. We have to go in now. What's your food? No food I can eat. When all my family members are out there, watch what? Freezing away. No, brother. You can't go on like this. You have to concentrate on your getting well first. Get well for who? I. Why didn't this death take me to? Why? Because we still need you. We are very glad you are alive to compensate us over your family's death. But most of all, you have to get well for us. Yes. Go in and get your food. Yes. Kate, Lucy, all my family. It's okay, it's okay. Wow. 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 It's good to see you out of bed. Um, Johnny sent you school to me. He says he's going to be here later on. How was your day, man? Oh, the same thing. Where is your sister, Anne? I haven't seen her. Um, she left here two hours ago, but she'll be back later in the day. Okay. Um, Patrick, I got your message saying I should come alone. I hope everything is okay. Mary, my morning has suddenly turned to midnight. A midnight. Filled with nightmares. The gentle wind that caressed my troubled soul now mocked me. The sun has refused to shine on me. Patrick, you you speak in parables. There's no reason for you to mourn yourself, okay? Just be thankful to God that you're alive. And it's only God that knows the reason why he took your family away. I'll mourn myself, Mary. But I've decided to take the only option left. It's true I lost my family to death, but not entirely. I still have someone left. One child left. One child? I'm talking about Junior, man. I know this might come to you as a rude shock, but Junior is still my child. I want him back. No, no, Patrick, wait. God, Patrick, no. No, 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 no. You promised me. Why do you want to ruin me? No, 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 you, you, you promised. No, Patrick, you can't do this to me. Maybe I have no choice. Can't you see I'm paralyzed and cannot pregnant a woman again? Damn you, Patrick! Damn you! Oh God! Please tell me, how am I supposed to explain to Daniel 
that his son of nine years is not his, but a product of circumstantial adultery committed by a wife he loved. Tell me. Mary, I lost my family to death. Please, Junior is the only thing I have left. I don't want to be alone. Yeah. Why are you willing to pay you anything? I'm, I'm willing to fly you abroad for you to get medical treatment. Just anything. Stay away from Junior. I want nothing else but my child. My flesh and blood. I don't want to be alone, please. That's fair. Patrick, stay away from me. My you're asking for the impossible. <laughs> Don't you ever Don't even think about it. Mary. Want my child back. I hope we're not going far. No, no. I just want to feel the air. I will see the sun again. I feel the warm atmosphere that on my system So, where are we going? Anywhere. Just anywhere around. I've been at home for one whole week. So boring. We now have to come back to make dinner. Oh, honestly. Things have changed in this street. 
Oh, As if they were waiting for me to go out for them to start planting this too.
Bro, I missed him. You even you missed. I paid you well. Then the Gemel got lucky, you know. I was already in the room. The nurse from nowhere entered, and there's nothing I could do about it. And you ran away. Better go back and finish the job. No, there's no way I'm going back to that hospital. That place by now will really be clamoring with the police. Step out of the car. Keep in touch. We need to strike again. You said you could not recognize the face of the criminal. No, not exactly, sir. There was no way I would have recognized his face. I was really too scared to look at him. Bro, has anything like this ever happened before in this hospital? No, nothing like this has ever happened in my hospital. It's the first time, and I'm shocked. Do you keep cash or items of extreme value in the hospital? Not really. I said the life of my patient. And that will be up for now, Doctor. We contact you on further developments. So, Mr. Patrick, I want to know the truth. I want to know everything. You know, as well as we do, that whosoever that came here trying to kill you knows you very well. What is it all about? You have a choice, Mr. Patrick. You have a choice. You either tell us the truth so we can hunt the criminals down or you keep it to yourself and die with it. In the records we have, they've missed you twice. And you might not be lucky to talk to and you know it. I strongly believe it's Mary that is behind all this. Because she has my child. But the doctor said you lost your entire family in an auto crash that almost got you killed. So what child would that be? It's a long story. Good. Tell us everything. I don't think I can release my patient. As you can see, we are still administering treatment on him. Whoever that is wanting him will certainly come back for him. So we have to move it immediately to save his life. And of course, save the hospital from the embarrassment. I don't know how safe that is. How very safe, trust us. This is a secret strategy. However, doctor, we will bring him back to you. In that case, I'll come every morning to administer treatment on him. But I must warn you. Should his condition deteriorate, I must bring him back to the hospital. Get me a cup of coffee. All right, I just want to be alive to see my only surviving child. Call me father. Just relax and act indifferent. 
Oh, I'm Patrick. What happened? How are you now? I'm just rushing from the hospital where they told me they discharged you temporarily. Yes. I needed to come home to film my environment. I maybe take some exercise and return to the hospital. These are the doctors that are helping me. That's JD. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, but I, I hope this works out. Uh, definitely, we're going to do our best. Uh, so, Mr. Patrick, you take care now. Now, when this is all over, you and I are going for a long vacation, probably to South Africa. Uh, or wherever, uh, you need a very, very good change of environment. Please get another cup for my friend, Brian Frank. Oh, no, 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 I'm okay. It's all good. Well, today is a big deal around discussing at home these days. Take it easy, real easy. Now, let me just use the bathroom. Lest I forget, honey. Yeah? Um, Patrick was temporarily discharged from the hospital today. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but but I, I, I told him I was supposed to refer him for more advanced treatment abroad. Ha. Paralysis is paralysis. You have to be a god to be able to treat paralysis. But um, what is he going to be doing at home, at home all alone? No, he's not alone. His um, sister is with him, Anne. Oh. Okay, yeah, I guess that, that's better for him. Yeah, someone will take care of
Mary! You're the person I least expected to see. How come nobody came to answer the door earlier? You must be alone. Uh, no, not really. I, my sister is in the kitchen. In the kitchen? I don't think so. I just saw her in. Mm. Has she left? Well, in that case, she'll be back very soon. Well, let's hope. Let's hope, Patrick. Uh, Mary, what are you doing here? Have you come to bring Junior back to me? Bring Junior back? <laughs> you really make me laugh. You want to be happy so that the whole world will turn around and mock me, right? I'm sorry, Patrick, I can't do that. In that case, I'll confront your husband and tell him the truth. Mary, be considerate and bring back my son. He's the only thing I have left. Him. That means you're dead. You must be a cat with nine lives. I hid you with a car, but you survived. I sent someone to kill you, but the fool couldn't do it. Now I must do it myself. Mary, what will you gain if you do that? Only ask for my son, not flesh and blood. Blood? But baby, our little white secret has to be buried forever. Do if I kill you now, nobody will know our bond. Genius pretend, and I'll be safe with my mind. Nemesis will catch you. <laughs> Until then, maybe when we meet in the world beyond, we have to be friends or end. But for now, drop the gun. Boy. I have to kill him. He must die! We're under arrest for attempted murder. First degree murder. Conspiracy to commit murder and an accomplice to murder. You have the right to remain silent because whatever you say or do will be used against you as evidence in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Take her away. No! I'm telling you, there's no way I will allow you to take this boy away from me. No way is he leaving this house. I'm from sorry, me. Mr. Daniel, but we must go with the child now. The Lord demands that. Look, I want to look at his face. I want to look into his eyes and hear him tell me, my so-called friend, hear him tell me why he's tormenting me like this. I'm sorry, Mr. Daniel. We are still investigating the true paternity of the boy. And since that is still going on, neither you or Patrick will be in possession of the boy. Where will he be? Look here, officer. For nine years, nine good years, this boy called me father. Do you think it's easy? Where was Patrick for nine years? Where was he? It's a pain you will have to deal with. Your wife, the mother of this boy. Confess. Look, I don't care what that disgrace of a woman said. I am not letting this boy go. He's not leaving this house, and I'm ready to spill my blood for that. Sergeant, move this boy. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Leave this boy. Leave him. Look. Officer, I'm telling you. Look. 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 Look.
Anne, it's a good thing you have attended me in the case. You bet, but, but how could he have been so mean and seamless? You mean Patrick, your friend? There are people like that. I tried to use the nine years factor against him in court, but he did not hold water. Barrister. I'm afraid of. Of what? I'm afraid of the DNA test. Come on. I don't know you to be a weakling. You have to fight this cause to the end. It's not going to be easy, but we must fight it. Barrister. I love Junior. I love him so much. I don't want to miss him. I wonder where he is now. According to the law, you're not supposed to know where he is. For fear that you might take him and run away. No! I can never do such a thing. I'm not that kind of person. I'm just wondering where he is. He's fine. They are taking good care of him. I'll leave you now to rest. But remember, next week the result of the DNA test will be out. I'll meet you at the hospital. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. So that we all will witness the result of the genetic test first time from the doctor. Officer, he has no right whatsoever to be here. He should be locked away and made to suffer for destroying my family. Let me give you. It's yours. Your family is safe, Daniel. Mary was mine before you set your eyes on her, remember? She was and still is the woman of my dreams. Years back in school, I loved and cherished this girl, dreaming and praying of spending the rest of my life with her. And from nowhere, you, my so-called friend, took her away from me just because you had money and I was a nobody. But you were a sick man. And you need help. But the only help you are going to get is a free ticket to hell. And I will make sure you get it. All of us will die one day, old friend. <laughs> How sweet this revenge is. Taking back my child. The child that you loved so much. The child you erroneously thought was your child. The child that Mary gave to me after carrying my pregnancy. The pregnancy you could not give her because you were not man enough. I win, Daniel, just like I had dreamt of. Are all concerned with the paternity of the said child president? Uh, yes, Doctor. And if you approve the result, I would love to pronounce the vocal of his presence. I will also need a copy of the results to present at the headquarters. Well, from the statement available to us and uh, certain pronounced claims, and of course putting uh, recorded data into consideration, we came up with one major finding, which is a fact, judging by the time the mother said she took in. Yeah, doctor, what exactly are you talking about? Uh, the dates were all wrong. The time Mary claimed or thought she took in, wasn't right. She must have taken him some two weeks back without knowing it. Wait a minute, doctor. I mean, no. Are you saying that 
Mary was two weeks pregnant before she slept with this. This man. Exactly. From the genetic test. And of course, the blood test conducted. I'm afraid, Mr. Patrick, you are not the father of the child. What? There's no way you could have been. Look, it can't be. Look, I, I will contest this test. Mr. Daniels, we have an extremely close relativity between you and the child. It is certain that you are the father of the child. Congratulations. <laughs> You were the first who ever brought me out Showed me what life and love was all about You gave me things that I never need You're in my thoughts, my every dream I found joy in your touch I wish says the way you made me blush Life is cruel, now that you're gone, I love you so, I can't let go, yeah. Not over you, yeah, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not over you, yeah, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Hate you so what you done to me made me fall in love with me. Gotta move on, move on my life. But it's so hard when you still on my mind. I found your in your time. I Everyone is really coming from life. Your mom is not likely to come on soon. But don't worry, don't worry. I'll take care of you. I'll take very, very good care of you, okay? Nothing's gonna happen to you, huh? No, I want my mom to come home. Not only you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, Barista, how are you? You look happy and brighter this morning. Yeah. Junior, how are you? Good. Well, I must thank you for all your assistance in getting my son back. I'm happy you chose to fight for your son. For Junior, you will have lost him, you know. Yeah, Junior. Yeah. Oh. Well, I thank God for the strength. Thank God for the strength. Barrister. Junior has been asking some questions. Um, and sometimes it really bothers him. About what? He wants his mommy to come back home. I'm sure you have to let him know his mom is not going to be around for a while or anymore. I hear Patrick has dropped the charges against Mary. Yes, he did. Barrister, I want you to get my wife back home to me. Go for her bill, court charges, 
got fines or whatever it is. I just want her back home. Are you insane? That woman humiliated your image and disgraced your marriage. Well, she 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 was under pressure from my family, and uh, she was she was deceived by somebody, somebody I call a family friend, my best friend, barrister. I loved Mary once, and I'm sure I can still find that love again. No one understands her as much as I do. I have forgiven her in my heart. And besides, Junior needs his mommy. Do you really need her this much? To err is human. And to forgive is divine. Do that for me. Sometimes we make each other cry Sometimes we're locked inside the prisons of our pride Sometimes we break each other's heart with the words we say Let anger get in the way too many times, but always after all. Oh, love is all that matters. After everything, one thing remains the same. One thing we cannot share. Oh, we all have one heart <laughs> And one heart needs another Love, love is all that matters Love is all that matters It matters after all Sometimes we search this world for gold When all we really need is just a hand to hold Sometimes we let the greatest treasure just slip away With words we forget to say too many times, but always after all. Oh, love is all that matters. Oh, after everything, one thing remains the same. One thing we cannot share. We. We all have one heart And one heart needs another Love, love is all that matters Love is all that matters It matters after all after all that we've been through, it comes down to one simple truth. You need me, I need you. Love is all that matters. Love is all that matters. Love is all that matters. It matters after all. The only thing that matters